New at five, more than two decades after a man was found dead, police say they have his killer in custody. TV5 Zane O'Mare joins us with more on what led to that arrest. Zane? Meg, authorities have named the suspect as Eric Dukes of Metamora. He was arraigned this morning, and this arrest is 26 years in the making. Sometimes the wheels of justice turn slowly. After nearly three decades of searching for answers. The last person he was seen with was a white male, approximately 35 years old, who was riding a bicycle. An arrest made in the 1998 murder of Shannon Hollihan. We believe that they had met that night, the night of the crime. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton says the 31-year-old's body was found behind the Empress of China on South Dort Highway. Investigators determined he died from blunt force trauma and his car was missing. Earlier in the evening, the victim had been at the Club Triangle, also on Dort Highway. He was known to drive a white Corvette and would at times go behind the Empress of China to meet people after leaving the Club Triangle. The case going cold until a recent tip received by Crime Stoppers. Layton says Flint's cold case unit was then able to develop a profile for a suspect and thanks to new forensic evidence, arrest Eric Dukes of Metamora. The Michigan State Police Crime Lab had a hit on DNA that was found under the nails of the victim. The DNA hit came back <clears throat> to Eric Robert Dukes. What often happens when somebody is physically attacked is they will use their hands as a defense mechanism and investigators know to look under the fingernails because oftentimes DNA particles can be retrieved from under there. Layton says the crime lab was able to match the DNA to Dukes because of a recent separate arrest. He was arrested for unlawfully driving away an automobile, happened to be an ambulance. And he says this arrest is one step closer to bringing Hollihan justice. And folks who have been traumatized by violent crime never really truly recover from it. This is a step towards helping them get closure. Dukes is innocent until proven guilty, but if he is convicted, he faces up to life in prison without parole. Layton says he does believe that this was a hate crime against the LGBTQ community. However, because Michigan's ethnic intimidation statute didn't exist at the time of the crime, he can't be charged as such. In Flint, Zane O'Mare, back to you. Hey, thank you, Zane. Flint Police Chief Terrence Green also credits the help from American Rescue Plan funding, as well as a grant from the Mott Foundation, allowing detectives to seek additional resources in cold case investigations.